Okay guys, for this trick we're going to need a small glass and we're going to need a coin. Now I'm going to be using a quarter and as you can see I've signed it there, it has the Scream Freak signature on there. This coin is one of a kind, there is none other like it in the world. Now both of my hands are empty except for this coin and the glass. I'm going to put this in the palm of my hand. Now I want you to watch. Just like that, coin penetrates all the way through into the glass and that is indeed the signed coin. Hey, you guys want to learn how that trick was done? Perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Okay guys, to perform this trick we're going to need a small glass. I recommend a small glass. You can use a larger one, but smaller ones are easier and I think it, the effect's a little bit better with a smaller glass. And you're going to need a coin. Again, I recommend using a quarter because it's the perfect size. Plus, it's easier to sign. It would be difficult to sign a penny or a nickel or something like that. But uh, we're going to use a quarter for this. Now, the coin's going to go into the palm of our hand. It's going into the palm because we want to make it look like it's going straight through the glass. So it's going to go right in the middle of our hand. Now, you're going to have to hold the glass a special way also. I'm going to be holding it by the top with your middle finger and your index finger and your thumb or just your index finger and your thumb. It's, it's all up to you. Once you start practicing it, you're going to get a feel for it and you're going to know how you need to hold it. And you're going to hold it just like this. And this is slightly going to come over the edge of the glass. You don't want it all the way over top of it because that's going to look suspicious. You want it just out to the side where everyone's got a clear view of the glass and a clear view of your hand so they can see that there's nothing tricky going on even though there is. But we're going to be holding the glass like this. As you practice, you're going to get a feel for it. So it may not be just like this for you. It may be a little different. But um, whatever is more comfortable and more natural for you. So we've got our handling down of the glass. We're going to hold it just like this. And the coin's going to go into the palm of our hand. We're going to show the bottom of the glass. We're going to tap down on it once. You don't want to slam on it. You just want to kind of tap on it. And we're just going to kind of cover it up with our hand. We're not going to close our hand shut. We're just going to kind of briefly conceal it just for a moment. And you'll see why here in a minute. So we're going to go one, close your hand a little bit, two, close your hand a little bit, and on three, our wrist is going to rotate down. And as we're doing that, we're going to kind of show the bottom of the glass so they can see again that it is solid and they can see all the way up in your hand to see that you don't have another coin there. And as we're coming down, we're going to rotate and we've actually got the coin to the tip of our fingers. And the way we're doing that is on our final close, we're going to close and just kind of rotate. And as we do, it's just going to kind of drop there. So with the rotation, you're going to show the bottom of the glass. A little bit of misdirection, not a whole lot, but it should be enough to pull this off to where they don't catch you to see, see how you did it. But from here, proper positioning. One, close it. Two, close, rotate. Show the bottom of the glass. And all in one quick motion, we're going to rotate over and we're going to slam the glass into the palm of our hand. It's important you slam it into the palm because that's where they remember seeing that coin. And if you're doing it anywhere else, it's going to look very suspicious. And as you will see, just the motion, the impact from hitting that glass on your hand, it's going to make that coin bounce up. So I, you can kind of see, kind of see where this is going now. But with the proper positioning of our hands, as we hit this down, the coin is going to bounce up. It's going to go in between our hand. It may bounce off of our hand. It may not. And it will go into the glass very quickly to the bottom, at which point we can shake the glass and show that it has penetrated all the way through. So from the top, coin to the palm of your hand, down on it, conceal for a moment. You can show the bottom of the glass if you want to. You don't have to. Second time, seal, uh, conceal it again. You can show the bottom of the glass this time and the coin is in the palm of your hand and we're just going to rotate over and slam down at the exact same time they're never going to see that coin and with a little bit of practice you're going to be able to pop that up in there just about every time now the glass that I'm using it isn't working very well for me because it's got a little lip here but most glasses aren't going to have that and you're not going to have that trouble you're not going to get this the first time you may not get this the first ten times but once you get the feel and realize how hard you need to hit your hand you're going to understand it and you're, and you're going to be able to, to do it just about every time. Just like that. And they're not going to see it. Uh, this is not super angle sensitive. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be facing them like this because they may see the coin go up and over. You want some kind of concealment here. But it 
as I said, it's it's really not not all that angle sensitive. You can do it from the top, you can do it from this side or whatever. Just practice doing it in the mirror, do it in front of your friends. Uh, practice, 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 and you're going to be able to pull this off. You're going to be able to fool a lot of people. Now, one more time, I'm going to do this from a little bit different angle. Coin is going to go into the hand. One, close. Two, close, rotate. And as we rotate, you can see the coin has dropped into the palm of our hand. And on the last one, we're going to hit down, it's going to pop up just like that. You probably didn't even see it from that angle. But uh, that's how it works, guys. Practice, practice, practice. I know you guys are going to be able to do it. I know you're going to be able, be able to perfect it and perform this. And it's going to be really awesome. And that's the trick, guys. I hope you were able to follow it. Um, you guys are going to do great. I know it.